Hi, I'm Chef Cynthia Louise and welcome to my YouTube channel because there's new recipes coming through every week. I'll do that again, yeah? Saya sampaikan. Awak, ya. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Aduh, ya. I think the best thing about my goji and apricot balls is them dipped in chocolate. And I did this the other day. I rolled them, I dipped half of them in chocolate, like half of the ball in chocolate, then I put in the fridge. And then like an hour later, I ate it. I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. And then I heated up the chocolate again and um, I double dipped it <laughs> and then put them back in the fridge. Oh my God. And I love cacao paste, by the way, or liquor. It's called, Google it. Um, it's amazing. And if you have my um, Celebrate Your Sweet Tooth cookbook, which is all sweets and all glory, I do use cacao paste in my brownie recipe. So get that book here. Please get that book. It's a game changer. But these balls are certainly something that are very Moorish and really quite um, uh, chocolatey, chocolatey, especially when you dip it twice. So. Very simple process. So I'm using almonds for, for the base of this incredible ball that's dipped in chocolate twice. I need to keep saying that because I can't help it. And you don't need to use almonds. You could use cashews, peanuts, walnuts, you know, macadamia nuts, pine nuts, whatever. Or if you're allergic to, to nuts, you could use a seed. It's just like completely up to you. I'm using beautiful organic raw almonds. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna process them. Okay, so there's still some quite some big chunks in there. I want it a little bit finer than that. And now this is where everything else goes in. The coconut, goji berries, Currants or sultanas or raisins, whatever you have. Apricots. Actually, here's something. Normally I like to get apricots that haven't been soaked in sulfur, which they normally are black when they're not soaked in sulfur. This is all I could get in Indonesia today. But if you're in a country where you can access raw dried apricots that aren't soaked in sulfur and aren't soaked in oil. So everything is in here, the vanilla, the, the maple syrup, the almonds, the goji berries, the sultanas, the coconut, it's all in here. Now you just want a pinch of salt. Sticking together beautifully. It's not falling apart when I squeeze it. Oh my God, that's epic. I just want a little bit more of this dried fruit broken up a bit. Have a taste actually. Mmm, oh my goodness. Oh my God. It must be the vanilla and the goji berries that just bring this home. Oh my God, it's so good. Okay, this is great. Oh my God. Oh, the smell, it's so great. The vanilla, I can't express how it just brings out so much flavor of those goji berries. I'm so excited to double dip these in chocolate. Okay, calm down everybody, just calm down. Now I'm gonna weigh each one out because I want the perfect ball. Okay, what do I want here? I want 35 grams is good. So I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna roll these balls. So what's really important about rolling these balls is squishing them couple of times and then rolling them into a ball. And as I do that and line up a whole tray of these, then I'm gonna dip them in my chocolate. And I'm only gonna dip in half. And then I'm gonna put them in the fridge and then I know I'm gonna come back and wanna double dip them. <laughs>
It's not even, the chocolate's not even set yet. And just watch my mouth, it's gonna be like proper covered in chocolate. Mmm. I've got chocolate in my teeth. Mmm. <laughs> These are gonna go in the freezer. Mmm. So yummy. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm. Yum. Oh my God. So good.